Nematodes are uh, small roundworms that, that feed on turf grass roots. In doing so, they, they reduce the depth and the density of the root system. Nematodes rarely kill turf outright, but they just create a turf that's, that's very weak and a lot more prone to a lot of different stresses. Managing these, these worms um, in the root system are crucial to creating a turf that's healthy, playable, and, and consistent. They're uh, much more of an issue on putting greens because of the, the stresses that we often put on our putting surfaces in terms of mowing height, uh, dry conditions, low fertility, etc. A product like Devenem will allow superintendents to, to create more consistent playing conditions, improve recovery from, from stresses such as tournament preparation or adverse weather conditions. Uh, for example, we've shown that uh, Devenem applications can improve the, uh, the speed of recovery from a hollow tie and aerification event. And that can help a superintendent to bring the greens back to an acceptable level more quickly. When using a nematicide, uh, golf course superintendents often want to see a dramatic reduction in, in nematode populations. And uh, that's, that's understandable, but um, there are some major uh, problems with just focusing on nematode counts as a way to evaluate uh, nematicide performance. There's a lot of variability in uh, nematode counts just from the standpoint of collecting the sample and how the sample is, is processed in the, in the laboratory. Um, the other issue is, is that nematode populations are constantly booming and, and busting. They're, they're constantly increasing and decreasing over time with the, the weather conditions and the, the health of the turf grass roots. And so if you are using nematode counts to evaluate uh, nematicide performance, you need to be able to compare a treated area with an untreated area. Um, because that untreated area will give you a sense of what the nematode populations are naturally doing um, in, in the absence of a nematicide. Uh, right now we're looking at, at a portion of the green that was untreated, uh, treated with a soil surfactant only. And uh, if we look at the turf here, we see symptoms that are, are fairly characteristic of a nematode injury. The turf is thin and there's a lot of uh, yellow and necrotic leaf tissue and that's a result of the nematode feeding occurring on, on the roots. If we take a uh, soil profile, we'll see that the turf lifts quite easily when I'm pulling the profiler back out of the ground, and that's because the root system is very, very shallow. And uh, what roots are present are uh, brown and uh, just not functioning very well to absorb water and nutrients out of the soil. Let's go look at a uh, treated portion of the green to see the difference. This part of the green has been treated with Devenem plus a soil surfactant on a monthly interval beginning in August. And if we look at the turf, we see dramatically improved uh, color and density and better all overall uniform uniformity. And if we take a soil probe sample, we can see that the turf lifts a lot less uh, when I pull, pull the soil probe out of the ground and uh, we can already see some, some roots poking out of the bottom of this profile sample. And uh, we have dramatically improved root depth and density. And there's a, a lot more uh, fine root growth in the uh, two to three inches of, of the soil profile. And that's what's enabling the uh, improved uh, turf quality above ground. And we often like to focus more on, on uh, root quality, root depth, and, and turf quality and stress tolerance rather than just focusing on the nematode counts. And in the end, that's what we're trying to deliver is, is healthier, more consistent, more stress tolerant turf.